I mean, I just think it's great. I just think that, you know, the fact that he put it together right after 9-11 and to, and to bring Tribeca back as well as New York, that was just honorable in itself and for it to have sustained for so long now and represents, you know, a great thing in movies that are great for movies and great for the city. But that was awesome. Well, I just think it's great. I just think it's great what Bob and Jane did in terms of creating. I don't know if he reinvented as much as he just created his own version of it. So I, I think he just took it. I remember asking, like, what are you thinking about when you're doing that? And he says, I, I want to shoot this like a gangster. I want to shoot it the way I want to shoot it. If I want to freeze frame, if I want to voice over, if I want to whatever. Uh, and that's what he did, I think, it, which gave him a lot of liberty to just be him. <laughs> Well, he definitely, I agree with you, made it hip, the music was hip, we were young enough, um, and we were all street smart in, in Goodfellas and Sopranos. I mean, I think that's the juggernaut of, of that we could say held the both of them together. Well, there's so much excitement about it. It's, uh, it's part of the iconography of American film. We have it in our unconscious now. It's everyone's watching it all the time. It's very good to have been a part of it. I feel very lucky that I was a part of it with such great masters uh, doing it, uh, the great uh, Scorsese. Uh, you know, it's epic. It's one of the three or four greatest movies ever made. And if you get to do that in your career, you're pretty lucky. Right here, guys. Anna, see if Frida can help us out. 